Hey there, I'm a DIY track guy. This is my humble garage, and today we put our foot down on these. These are a Flying Miata pedal set that consists of three covers for the dead pedal clutch and brake, as well as this throttle pedal extension. They're specific to the NA, but they have sets for the NB, NC, and ND. I'm not sponsored by them, and I bought these with my own money. They're CNC'd from aluminum, and although their purpose is mostly for aesthetics, functionally they claim they offer more grip, and the throttle pedal extension assists in heel-toe downshifts. As you'd expect, they include all the required fasteners and this little Allen key. Any idiot should be able to install these, so let's test that theory. Before we install those pedal covers, let's take this thing for a test drive and see what the stock pedals feel like. Straight away, the stock pedal spacing is near perfection. Heel toe downshifts feel pretty natural to me, but I do have to stretch a little bit to reach the throttle pedal. I find on the street, heel towing requires a little bit more subtlety as you're not pressing the brake pedal down as far. On the track, you tend to use more brake pressure, pushing the pedal down further, which means that the gas pedal is up a little higher. And since you're at higher RPM, you can kind of just mash the throttle to bring the revs up. So as you can see from this short test drive, with the stock pedals, I do have some challenges with heel towing. If I rotate my foot too much, my heel will hit the transmission tunnel, but if I don't rotate it enough, I'll miss the gas pedal. So this isn't ideal, so let's install those pedal covers with that throttle pedal extension. As you can see, my stock pedals are looking a little tired. The rubber covers on the clutch and brake are badly worn, and the paint on the gas pedal has worn off, and there's rust showing through. In typical mostly useless fashion, I usually try to do a half-assed job at cleaning up whatever I'm working on before installing stuff. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get this gas pedal up to that half-assed standard, but I'm gonna give it the old college try. Now let's pop off these old rubber pedal covers and see how bad it is underneath. And I got my best bud here to help me push down the pedal assembly so I can drill out the holes in the pedal face. got the clutch and brake covers on, let's take a look at this freshly painted gas pedal. I assure you, even though it looks like it, I didn't use VHT wrinkle black. And this is how the pedal extension should sit. And I'm getting a little tired of crouching in the foot well here, so I'm going to take this dead pedal off so I can install the cover on the bench. Back out for another test drive, let's see if we notice any difference with these pedal covers. In terms of dry grip, the pedal faces do seem to offer more, but it's not like going from an all-season tire to an R-Compound. 
there just seems to be a little bit more grip underfoot. And for the gas pedal extension, it does feel like it helps with the heel toe downshifting, but I think I'm gonna need to work on my technique a little bit. And with that, that's all for the Mosa Useless Garage. This was a fun and easy one. You're awesome, I'm useless. Thanks for watching.